Hi everybody, we'll be starting with integration important questions and I'll try to solve many questions in this uh, video. You can pause the video, try the question yourself and check your answers. In this question, you have to separate all these elements in the numerator like uh, x cube divided by x square plus 5x square divided by x square plus 4x divided by x square plus 1 divided by x square and dx. So you can separately integrate all these elements. x square x square cancel. 4 divided by x plus 1 by x square dx. So when you integrate them, you will get x square by 2 plus 5x plus, now this is 4, into 1 by x. 4 is a constant. It will be outside uh, the integration sign. So 1 by x which is log x plus integration of 1 by x square dx that will be minus 1 by x plus c. That is the constant of integration. Minus 20% off is back. An academy le kar aya hai. Unlock 20 offer. आप मेरा कोड RUC10 यूज करके कोई भी सब्सक्रिप्शन परचेज कर सकते हैं 20% ऑफ पर Dear learners, exams are round the corner. To help you with your final preparation, An Academy brings Power Packs a revision series for ICSC class 9th and 10th, ISC class 11th and 12th. Top educators will take these revision series where they will focus on important and previous year questions. Classes will be conducted every alternate day. Also, if you wish, you can join any batch according to your preference. You can opt any subscription. A minimum of 3 month subscription is also available. Live classes by India's top educators. Doubt solving sessions. You can ask your doubts via raise a hand feature. PDF notes. Live tests and quizzes with analysis of your performance. Recording of all live classes with unlimited access. All content subjects under one subscription. And many more will be provided under one subscription. Also, there is a big exciting news. An Academy is launching an Academy store for the very first time in Pusa Road, New Delhi. You can experience the offline an Academy world and learn together. Do visit the store. I have put all the links in the description box. Use my code RUC10 to unlock for free. Also, you will get 10% off on any subscription. Let's crack it. Integration of x divided by x plus 1 whole square dx. Let's see how to do this. I can add and subtract 1 in the numerator. Separating x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square minus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square then dx. So this will be integration of 1 by x plus 1 minus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square, right? Integration of this. Log x plus 1 plus, now in this uh, 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square, you have to take it in the numerator. So this will be, I am telling this part x plus 1 whole to the power minus 2. Now you know the integration of this. x plus 1 whole to the power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 2. And that will be 1 divided by x plus 1 plus c. We are concentrating on board questions because a lot of questions are repeated from the previous year. I advise you to solve the previous year board question papers and you can also look and practice sample papers of different schools or maybe any other guide like Oswal. This is a substitution question. You have to take root x equal to t. So uh, when you integrate, you differentiate both sides because you have taken root x equal to t. That will be 1 by 2 root x dx equal to dt. That means dx will be 2 root x dt. And here root x is equal to t. That means dx equals to 2t dt. 
right? Substituting the values in this integration question, you will get integration of cos t divided by t into 2t dt. Got it? We have replaced 2t dt in x dx. t and t cancelled. So you will get 2 integration of cos t dt. That will be 2 sin t plus c. The question does not end here because you have to again put back the values that were uh, taken, assumed in the beginning. Root x equal to t. 2 sin root x plus c. And do you know if you leave the question here, you have not completed it, you have not uh, substituted the values back, then you may lo lose half or one mark. Number 4. Integration of sin square x minus cos square x divided by sin square x cos square x dx. What we can do is uh, separate minus cos square x divided by sin square x cos square x dx and then cancel the common terms. You will get integration of 1 by cos square x that is sec square x minus 1 by sin square x, that is cos x square x, right, and dx. So, uh, the final answer will be tan x, then uh, minus cot x, that will be plus cot x, minus minus is plus, plus c. This is the answer. Try out question number 5. So, I am starting with the solution part. 1 plus log x is equal to t. Substituting this, right? After differentiating, you will get 0 plus 1 by x dx equal to dt. So, for this part, you got dt, right? Now, I'll put the values, substitute them. So, um, I'll get integration of 1 by t dt. Look how simple it is. Log t plus c. Putting back the value of t here that is log 1 plus log x plus c answer evaluate dx by under root of 5x minus 4x square our first step is to make the coefficient of x square as unit right to make the coefficient of x square as 1 I will be uh, taking over common in the denominator. So, this will be 5x by 4 minus x square. And then integration of dx by, so this will be um, 2, right? 1 by 2 will come out from the integration sign. Our next step is to difference of two squares. I might sound low because it is very hot here in Delhi and just came back from my college. It is very tiring but still I am making this video. So please like this. Yes, uh, what we will do is uh, divide this coefficient of x by 2 and then square it right you got it coefficient of x is 5 by 4 you will divide it by 2 so you will get 5 by 8 and then you will square it that means you get 25 by 64 i'll just erase this now you have to add this 25 by 64 and subtract it okay in this denominator so this will be 1 by 2 integration of dx by 5x by 4 minus x square plus 25 by 64 minus 25 by 64. Now you have to form a quadratic equation and um, especially what you have to form is difference of two squares. 
So this will be 1 by 2 integration of uh, dx by 25 by 64. Okay. Then minus, I'll take common x square minus 5x by 4 plus 25 by 64. So this will be 1 by 2 integration of dx by, this is 5 by 8 whole square minus and uh, this is x minus 5 by 8 whole square, right? x minus 5 by 8 whole square. I hope you know the formulas of uh, quadratic equations. Okay. So this is of the form uh, under root. Now this is of the form integration of dx by under root of a square minus x square. And the formula is sine inverse x by a plus c. So I'll just write it 1 by 2. Sine inverse x minus 5 by 8 divided by 5 by 8 plus c. After solving this part, you will get 1 by 2 sine inverse 8x minus 5 by 5 plus c. This is the answer. Now in this question, um, I think I can take x square equal to t. So this will be 2x dx equal to dt. And uh, yeah, I'll put the values. So this is 1 by 2 and 2. I have multiplied and divided it by 2. 1 plus t divided by 1 plus, yeah, I will put 1 by 2 here. 1 plus t square, right? Since x square is equal to t, that means x to the power 4 is equal to t square. 2x dx, that is dt. And then I can write this as 1 by 1 plus t square plus t divided by 1 plus t. I have split it. dt. 1 by t. This is tan inverse t, right? Plus. Now for this part, you have to substitute 1 plus t square is equal to u. 2t dt is equal to du so we'll put the values here and uh, this will be okay so i have to multiply and divide it by 2t dt is du and this is 2u this 2 is outside the integration sign okay 1 by 2 tan inverse t plus 1 by 2 log u. Now I'll put back the values. See, tan inverse, now t was x square plus 1 by 2 log u, that is 1 plus t square and 1 plus t square means 1 plus x to the power 4. See, x square is equal to t. Okay. That means x to the power 4 is equal to t square. 1 plus x to the power 4 plus c. And make sure that you put back the values at the end. Like uh, it was 1 plus t square for u and for t it was x square. Let's try out this question e to the power x tan x plus integration of e to the power x log sec x. We have multiplied, okay. e to the power x tan x plus now um, we will apply I let, uh, Lyot rule here. In this case, I will take log sec x as first function and e to the power x as second because Lyot rule now this mentions logarithmic inverse trigonometric functions algebraic trigonometric and then exponential 
so i am going to apply that rule here and we'll solve this part i'll keep this um same okay log sec x this is in continuation to this plus then integration of e to the power x dx minus integration of d by dx of first function that is log sec x then multiply integration of second function dx okay integration of e to the power x tan x plus log sec x e to the power x minus integration of now dy dx of log sec x will be 1 by sec x into sec x tan x multiply e to the power x and dx this gets cancelled so you will get integration of e to the power x tan x plus log sec x e to the power x minus integration of tan x e to the power x dx and this gets cancelled the answer will be e to the power x log sec x plus c i'll continue with definite integrals also and we'll also cover important questions of these chapters